And Scott Morrison will be on 7.30 with Lee Sales right after the news. Hundreds of people in southwest Sydney fear they could lose their homes to make way for the long-awaited rail line. Many are shocked to find their properties are now in the path of the proposed rail corridor. Dennis McClear built his dream home at Harrington Park, but his dream became a nightmare when he opened a letter to discover his home is right in the path of the proposed rail link. There aren't yet plans to acquire his home, but Dennis McClear fears the worst. When they do acquire it, I'll get some substantially less value um, and basically we'll be back to 25 years ago. Other neighbours had similar letters, but not so the owners of a huge new housing development who now don't know whether to build. This is the brand new wildfire estate. 98 blocks of land have been sold here as recently as three weeks ago. And yet if the rail link goes ahead, before long a freight train will be going right through here. The government's uh, saying at this stage it doesn't stop people building, uh, but it means there's a big question mark uh, hanging over them. Even those who keep their homes face the prospect of trains thundering past. Our property here, which would be valued up around the $1 million mark, um, could be worth nothing. The rail extension is mapped to go from Brinjelli to Norellan. It's the southern part where landowners are most affected. The government says it's doing all it can to talk to affected communities. What we are going to do responsibly is consult with those communities. Tell that to residents at Oran Park, where a master plan maps every building and street until 2030. The site earmarked for the local council is the very spot chosen for the rail station. And the rail link would cut through the planned school and an existing retirement village. There are currently 127 residents there. The proposal at the moment suggests it goes right through their proposed uh, aged care facility. Landowners say an underground line or a different route altogether are the only real solutions. Ann Barker, ABC News, Oran Park.